So this video will show the amazing ability of PowerMap, which as of this recording on December 10th, 2013, is still in preview mode, to turn data into a stunning interactive 3D visualization of the planet Earth and your data combined. So in order to follow along with this video, you will need to have SQL Server installed as well as Excel 2013 with PowerPivot. You'll also need to download a couple more necessary items, namely PowerMap and the AdventureWorks DW database. In other words, the data warehouse version. Here you can see the URLs for the websites where you can download the extra components that you need. So here you'll see that all I've done is install the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database on SQL. You can see fact and dimension tables. And we are just going to go into PowerPivot and connect to it and do the rest of the work there. Now let's open Excel to use PowerPivot and PowerMap to create some interesting visualizations. Go to the Power Pivot menu and then click on Manage. In the Power Pivot Management window, click from Database, from SQL Server, and connect to your SQL Server where your AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database is being stored. In this case, it's our local server, so we're using dot for the server name and we're pulling down the AdventureWorks DW database. Let's choose three tables, DIM Customer, DIM Geography, and Fact Internet Sales. I only want to look at customers in the US, so I'm going to set a filter on the DIM Geography dimension. Click OK and finish. And close. Go into Diagram View. Here you will see that the tables and their relationships, the primary key and foreign key, have been brought in and the data is now accessible through Excel. So let's go back to the Excel window and under the Insert menu, if you've installed PowerMap, you'll now see an option called Map, and from there you can insert a new Power Map. Let's add our geographies. So we're going to add the state or province name as well as the city fields. And click Next. Now this is just the default for when you come into Power Map. I'm going to select a value for the height of my columns that are going to show up on my 3D map. So by default, it gives you a column map as you can see from the type drop-down menu. 
So now I'll be able to see the distribution of my customers as well as how much sales I'm having across the different areas where my customers are. So let's just zoom around and pan around a little bit so you can see how you can use the 3D features of the default view here with the columns of your data. I'm sorry if the column animation is a little skippy, but that's just because I'm trying to record this at the same time as I'm trying to view the data, so it's causing a little bit of delay in my graphics. Notice the use of these tilt buttons here on the screen that allow you to tilt the surface of the earth and get a better view of your 3D graphics. The map is interactive, so you can hover over the different columns and you can get the data values back. You have different types of maps, so let's convert this into a heat map. So this was just a simple intro to using Power Pivot with Power Map. These are part of the new Power BI suite available for Excel 2013. Let's just look at one more thing here, and that's a region map where it will show you darker areas, darker regions where you have higher values. Please remember to subscribe.